Hello everyone, I'm Polly and today I'm going to be touring my most recently finished island, Taki. I've been working on this island for more than 3 months now and I'm in love with the result. This is a Japanese inspired island and the name Toki, although it is a word in Japanese that I think fits really well with the island since it means time, actually came from my lack of imagination when it comes to names and I just named it Toki because it is one of the nicknames I have for one of my cats. When I started this island I thought I was going to restart it once it was time for me to start working on a new island. This one was just for fun in the beginning but I ended up not restarting and just went with this one. Ok, enough of the history behind the island's name. On this island we have Gala, Marty, Judy, Ioni, Kabuki, Pearl, Gino, Zucker, Lolly and Sasha. All the buildings are decorated but I won't be showing the interiors in this video because I posted every interior on the past 2 weeks. I will link all the videos in the description though. The entrance is super simple and straight to the point, I wanted it to be like an island right next to the main island because it looks better with the arbor. Crossing the bridge we get to the shopping district and the nook's cranny is right in front. Going right, there's like an intersection and you can go either up or down but I went down to show you the pier where Zucker's house is located. Gala and Sasha live on the shopping district on top of the buildings. Continuing right there's the resident services in front of the arbor and the shopping district extends all the way to the beach with the Able Sisters on the right to the resident services. If the campsite looks like an afterthought, it's because it was. I always forget about the campsite and I had everything planned out in my head by the time I remembered the campsite, so I put it where I didn't really know what to put there. The beaches are really simple, I don't really care about the beaches that much, so I try to make them as simple as possible, there's not much to see. On the peninsula I put a little cabin and on the land side I put some buildings to hide the side of the museum slash temple so it wouldn't look too awkward if you walked up to see the cabin up close.
To the left we have the Cherry Blossom Temple that covers the museum. The museum's building looked really off with the rest of the island and I had to put so much stuff to hide it that it's kinda hard to get a good perspective of the whole thing in video but it's a cool spot for some pretty pictures. Continuing left we have a bamboo forest with a little shrine and a lookout area. This is my least favorite part of the island, but it doesn't look that bad either, I guess. Next to it, there's a fish store with a secret access to a secret garden. You can't really walk much here, but I needed to fill this space and thought that a secret garden could be cute. The rural neighborhood is right next to that fish store and here we have Pearls and Kabuki's houses. Before we go to the left side of the island, let's go down on the bamboo forest a little so I can show you Chino's house and yard. If you don't enter Chino's house and continue ahead on this street, you get to the shopping district. Going down, there's a staircase that leads to Gala's house. Crossing the bridge we have yet another neighborhood. This one is more urban and we have Judy's, Ioni's, Marty's and Lolly's houses. This is a great way of putting multiple villager houses and not take too much space. In front of the villager houses we have a little building and next to it a sakura park. I felt that the island was looking too flat so I made this park elevated and used these ladders because they don't take up too much space and I couldn't build any more bridges and stairs but I don't think it looks too bad. This beach is a little more cluttered and I did another cabin on the big rock by the water.
Behind this neighborhood, there's the resident's house transformed into a ryokan, and if you climb down the stairs on the left, you get to an onsen on the big rock by the ocean. I built some buildings next to the Ryokan to keep the urban aspect but dissolved the urban and the rural on the far right to connect it to the other neighborhood. Going up the road we get to the secret beach and I gave Red a little cabin and you can walk into the forest as well. And that's it, that's Taki! I hope you like the result and feel free to visit it whenever you want with this dream address. You can also visit my Instagram page and save the DA through there. I will put some extra content over there so don't forget to check it out if you're interested in that. If you want to know how I built every single space on this island, you just need to watch this playlist that also includes the interiors of the buildings. Thank you so much for watching and for all the support and I hope to see you next time. Bye!